Okay, I'm gonna try something more closer. Hey Luna, how are you doing? Blue, stop! Blue! No! Yes, you stop that. You sound horrible when you I don't it sounds like he's in dire death throes. When you go there's a a uh, dog on the other side of the fence. He sounds so horrible. You don't do it any other time. I don't know what's wrong with you when it comes to that. Some kind of psychological craziness. No, don't look me in the face. Yes, I know. Uh, okay. So I thought I'd try this camera angle because this is more of a talking a personal matter so personal still ai but uh so you know there's a lot of uh horror shows that have computers that are bent on destroying earth uh dune is a, a representation about a post-apocalyptic type thing. Uh, of course, it's much further along, and they've rebuilt the civilization, but uh, they came very close to distinguishing humanity in, in their that universe. So, uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I think with AI. One, nobody can know for certain anything. Back when I was a child, uh, lots of people, very intelligent people, thought that we would not exist past the year 2000. They thought that the, uh, the reason why we hadn't had contacts from outer space is because civilizations tend to just destroy themselves after re reaching the pinnacles of their development to the point where they it happens. So that's always been uh, something that I've been growing up with. Now, of course, you can go back and look at some movies, uh, Blade Runner. I think Blade Runner was set in... Uh, 2023 so not quite what we got uh soyant green's a good one we're supposed to be eating ourselves by now anyways i only say all that not to throw shade on all these guys oh wait i have to tell you one more funny thing there's a game i played cyberpunk now, they've done a revision since the originals, but the cyberpunk universe, it was like really cool because they had all these things like chemicals you could put in your body to give you armor and cybernetic implants to give you make you faster and stuff like that. It was really cool, except for one glaring problem. Uh, they had a mobile phone and it was a phone, just a phone, just to call. But you could do data uplinks, data out links on it. That cost you some enormous amount of money every month in order to have that kind of technology. Come on, stop it. They're fussing at the neighbors. You need to stop fussing at the neighbors. Is it raining? You're a little wet. Or was that her? Yeah, that was just her. You need to stop getting wet. All right. So, okay. All that being said, I had a discussion with somebody who was worried that he was pushing against all artificial intelligence because he sees a lot of those scenarios. And he's like, I don't want that. I don't want the guy at Google to press a button and destroy humanity 
And one of the things that I should thought I would be sure to let people know is that uh, I don't know if everybody didn't realize this, this is not code in the in the normal sense. When we write code, when I write code, there's a lot of uh, logic stuff in it. If you do this, then do this, else do this. That's a very simple way of doing it. But there's a lot of different branches and logic programs, and we build them up in order to get a cohesive, uh, organized process. What uh, some people didn't realize is that AI is not like that. It's a very different, um, I'm going to say paradigm. I don't know if that's accurate. I'm not a verbalist like my da my wife is and my daughter. They're both really good at it. I think it's the paradigm is that there's a training model and it creates these inferences and weights and biases in order to produce certain things. And it's trained up. And so he didn't, I couldn't, I don't know if I could get him to grasp that it's not like somebody can, his, his problem was if you had all these connected things to the hive mind, then all you had to do was say, you know, kill some, somebody and the hive mind would find a way to kill him. But what he didn't seem to grasp, and it may have been me, because he was trying to convey his information. I was trying to convey mine. But I was like, uh, you know, we already have a hive mind. He's like, no, we don't. I said, yeah, you've got you, and I've got, there's me, and we talk and communicate. That's different. We have, a, we have our own brains. I said, yeah, and they have their own brains. I said, the base is created by a neural link. And then there's context that's overlay on top of it. And he's like, no, it's totally different. I'm like, it is and it isn't. There are things, and I kind of was doing the, the isn't. Uh, I mean, is part, because he was doing the isn't part. We were debating a little bit about it. And I said, it's almost like, you have an AI base, and then there's context on top of that. Uh, context is created over time and through training, but it's like having a somebody that becomes sentient with a predefined uh, skill set, and they have to learn everything else about their life and society. So he didn't understand that that made all those different. And he, so I said, but you and me have developed over time and we're part of the hive mind. We get our information, we get information, we get connections, we get instructions, all these things from inputs. It does the same thing, and we report things as outputs. But all those things are kind of the same. So it's one of those things where I don't know if the classical understandings of how AI is actually built is going to sink in for quite some time, because a lot of people are still used to code um, it'll take a while for people to grasp the delicacies of what's actually happening. And until then, I have a pretty puppy dog named Luna. Yes, I said your name. I did. I said Luna. You're a sweet girl. Yes, she's my gentle giant. She's the biggest dog, but she's the gentlest of my three dogs.
you treat me so wonderfully. You do. You do, sweet girl. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, no predictions for me. Because like I said, nobody seems to know. But I want to stay positive. I like a lot of things. And maybe I'll, but I'm, I'm not flawless on predictions. You guys take care. Talk to you later.